In order to get file type association, the FTA feature, to go through the AAC server, there are just a couple extra things that need to be done. Over here on my advanced access control machine in the Access Suite console, I already do have a couple of file resources. Over here in the resources area, I've got a couple file shares, including HR docs. And if I want to edit that, it's actually just a share out to where I have some PowerPoints. Simply a file share resource. Share location's been described. And it's published for users in their list of resources. File type association requires a presentation server. The idea is that when they click on one of these uh, PowerPoints in the HR doc subdirectory, if they have the rights through the presentation server, they'll be allowed to launch the presentation server's version of PowerPoint in order to edit that. That may come in handy. Over on the presentation server in the PSC, I need to go to the published app PowerPoint. First thing about this app in properties, have to make sure any users who are hoping to have this feature work are listed on the list of configured accounts. Second thing I have to go check is the content redirection tab. Currently, this published application is not associated with any types of uh, file extensions. I can associate this with PPT or simply select all the things it suggests might go with PowerPoint. And that's it there. That's file type association from the presentation server point. The only other requirement to get this to work through advanced access control is that my advanced access control integrates a presentation server farm. And up here, both at the farm level and on the logon point I intend to use, We've got, let me show you in the logon point, edit logon point. <coughs> in the logon point, we have a Citrix presentation server farm. We can't really check the details for the server and the XML port from here. But if I go up to the Citrix AAC farm level and I edit farm properties here, I can show you our presentation server farm in more detail when I click the edit button. It says we're talking to port 8080. And the two servers we're referring to are press survey and press serve B and we're not doing any kind of address translation at, translation at this level. So yes, I want to cancel. I'll click OK on that. We've integrated the Citrix presentation server with the AAC farm. We've got a logon point that refers to that integration. We've got a file share that happens to have some PowerPoints in it. And over in the presentation server, we've published PowerPoint for the user with file type association. One more thing, and it's actually already been done in the policy, but let me just pull this up. In our sample logon point policy one, and at the policy properties here, as far as resources, I've had it control all the web resources as well as the file share resources. Down in settings, we're giving out the file type association right, both on web resources, if it's applicable, and on file shares. They're getting the file type association right with this. Filter is filtering simply by the logon point, and users is applying to all authenticated users. So with all those steps in place, I'm ready to check the portal and see if I have access to file type association. I'm going to bring up Internet Explorer. So you can default to the advanced access control portal. I'll log in as myself, one of the users on the list of users on the published application PowerPoint that has content redirection configured. Hitting the portal, and it'll take a couple of seconds for this to start up. While the web interface is getting going, on my way to the HR benefits document, I'm going to hit the drop down menu here. And the launch button is actually how I would uh, use my integrated PowerPoint. If I want to edit this file, I'd be clicking the launch button and it's automatically going to start pulling up the presentation server application PowerPoint 2003.